family bank CEO David Tuku is set to exit the bank in six months. Now, the move comes after family bank returned to profitability, making 101 million shillings profit in its half-year results compared to a 492 million shillings loss posted during the same period last year. As managing director and CEO, Dr. Thuku steered the bank through a turbulent season for the banking sector, characterized by repositioning following the introduction of the interest rate cap. Now, Thuku will continue to exercise his duties as CEO until a replacement is found. Now, the Kenya International Freight and Warehousing Association today addressed the challenges facing clearing agents and importers at the inland clearing depot. Now, the current ICD yard population stands at 9,200 against a yard capacity of a 3,020 foot equivalent unit. Regardless of sufficient staff, the verification yard at ICD is not able to meet the demand by customs officers for 100% verification of containers that stands at no less than 120 boxes daily even though customs officers at the facility can hardly verify 20 containers per day the containers are piling up at ICD and clearly it is worrying now more than before with about 22,000 TUs getting to Nairobi literally every day these are seven trains per day this is not only posing a danger to uh, the, the agents who are using the facility, but even for the KPA employees and everybody else who is supposed to be a regulator. So this is, in my view, what I would call uh, destruction in waiting, uh, catastrophe in waiting. The slow and uncontrolled processing of entries uh, is the biggest challenge that uh, we are having. Right. Now, many of us are accustomed to using the ferry while crossing the ocean or the sea channel. But do you know the ferry can be used for other services? Now, find out which ones these are as Tobias Chanji reports on this week's Adventure Diaries Dinner on the Ferry. It is on a Thursday night, and after the hustling and bustling of the day, some are tiring to their homes. Either crossing from Mombasa's island to mainland or vice versa. Some have, however, decided to camp on this ferry for a corporate dinner. After haggling over souvenirs, they sit on neatly arranged seats. In here, there's plenty of everything. First there's food, then followed by beer. As they eat and sip their favorite meals, a band is at hand to entertain them. And not to let down the band, some are singing along, while others are dancing. More dancing follows. And as one Bob Marley said, the good thing with music is that when it hits, you feel no pain. And indeed, there's much to enjoy here. Francis Mgomati, who is the customer relations officer, Kenya Ferry Services, says anyone can hire the ferry for community, private or corporate events. You can hire a ferry uh, if you're holding uh, a special event. Let's say if you have a wedding, if you have a corporate event, we are open for that. Uh, and what you need to do, you simply uh, come to us. Uh, we will give you what you are required to. The rates are competitive. He says lots of adventure can be done on the ferry. This includes excursions designed for operations in sheltered waters, which is within the port, while others like it when the ferry is stationed at one point. So your excursion will take you all the way from the Mamangina side, uh, Florida and then you'll have an excursion to the port all the way to the Kipevu oil terminal 
and uh, we will cruise at a very minimal speed uh, so that it covers the hours you will have um, uh, hired the ferry for. <laughs> During the day and night, just like any other means of transport, the ferries used to fetch and carry passengers. But it also has other uses. Tobias Chanji, KT News, Adventure Diaries. Well, the ferries have much more than just taking you across the oceans to offer, as highlighted right there. With that, it's time for us to close up the business segment on KTN Prime. I'm Malika Kazia saying good night.